Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone, that is why ideas are born. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. The feeling is constantly growing on me that I have been the first to hear the greeting of one planet to another. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment and merging of races, and we are still far from this blissful realization. Life is and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution, but it contains certain known factors. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. It's not the love you make. It's the love you give. We crave for new sensations, but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. The individual is ephemeral, races and nations come and pass away, but man remains. Most certainly, some planets are not inhabited, but others are and among these there must exist life under all conditions and phases of development. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. Though free to think and act, we are held together, like the stars in the firmament, 
with ties inseparable. These ties cannot be seen, but we can feel them. So astounding are the facts in this connection that it would seem as though the creator himself had electrically designed this planet. Everyone should consider his body as a priceless gift from one whom he loves above all. Uncleanliness, which breeds disease and death, is not only a self-destructive but highly immoral habit. Instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have Undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction or any other willful effort of the brain is futile. Merciless is the law of nature, and rapidly and irresistibly we are drawn to our doom. My belief is firm in a law of compensation. The true rewards are ever in proportion to the labor and sacrifices made. Deficient observation is merely a form of ignorance and responsible for the many morbid notions and foolish ideas prevailing. I had admired the works of artists, but to my mind, they were only shadows and semblances. The inventor, I thought, gives to the world creations which are palpable, which live and work. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. The progressive development of man is vitally dependent on invention. It is not in the shallow physical imitation of men that women will assert first their equality and later their superiority, but in the awakening of the intellect of women. When natural inclination develops into a passionate desire, one advances towards his goal in seven league boots. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.